on a gorgeous night here in Nashville. We're getting set now to kick off week eight with Jacksonville taking on Tennessee. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, Tracy Wolfson, Jay Feely, and all the crew. One more time for our swing at the play here on Thursday Night Football. we got a little AFC South action tonight. Two teams we've been waiting to emerge, building behind young quarterbacks. In the case of the Titans, been some promising signs here of late. Marcus Mariota over the last three games has thrown eight touchdowns. They come in here at three and four. Yeah, you're pretty fired up. I like this. I like the fired up Jim Nance because I, I'm excited to see this game. Marcus Mariota has shown, I think, people around the country in his football team. He's a franchise quarterback. But why they're excited down here, they got defensive linemen that can rush the passer and win football games. They have two franchise tackles. We talked about the quarterback. And, oh, by the way, they got two running backs behind that quarterback. They're pretty good, too, Sue. So they should be optimistic. Let's get you fired up about the Tostitos starting lineups. And here come the Titans. You like their tackles. You just mentioned them. Conklin and Luan, who actually caught a touchdown last week, Luan. Walker is a dangerous threat at tight end, one of the best in the league. Mariota, you just mentioned. Murray, third in the league in rushing. Well, DeMarco Murray found an offense that fits his talent. He's a strong runner who runs straight ahead. He's got a good offensive line in front of him, and here's what their run game is. It's a sophisticated power run game. Very few of those in the NFL. Okay, the Titans going against a Jacksonville defense that statistically is improved. They went out and signed the big free agent. Talking about Malik Jackson from Denver, who scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl victory. This defense coordinated by Todd Wash and special assistant is the legendary Monty Kiffin. They went out and got Ramsey with their uh, fifth pick overall in the draft this year. A promising corner for them. Now here's the Jacksonville offensive line. Beecham is their left tackle, the former Steeler. Thomas, the former Broncos, their tight end. Waiting for Allen Robinson to get going. Bortles, nine touchdowns, nine interceptions so far through six games. Well, when you talk about Blake Bortles, there have been moments of greatness and great promise, but it's not consistent enough, especially when it comes to his throwing. And when you're a thrower and you miss throws, it hurts your confidence. Tonight, they need to get him off to a good start to give this team a chance to win. He's going against the blitz-happy defense of Dick LeBeau. Casey, he is quite a force on that defensive line. And they get pressure from the edges with both Morgan and Arakpo. And their secondary, that's their area of concern. What will they do They're without Rashad Johnson and Parrish Cox, both inactive tonight? This defense of Jacksonville, mentioned it before, Jackson, there he is, the former Bronco who... Many times when we did their games over the last couple years, you talked about what a difference maker he is. Well, he's got to be a difference maker here tonight against the run game and get him in obvious passing situations and take advantage of it. They paid him to be a superstar. He's got to play like one. And on the other side, Allen Robinson, he's their star wide receiver. Find ways to get him open down the field, move him around, help him out. All right, the Titans take the field. It's in the 70s here today. Very balmy conditions. Beautiful night to sit and enjoy a football game in person or at home. We'll have it for you coming up next.